Welcome to Rock and Roll Reactions. I'll be watching Halloween's music video of Everybody's Fool featuring First to Eleven. And I invite you to stick around after the reaction so you can hear what my honest thoughts are on the music video. Let's get started. Oh. Okay. Those drums are on point. Such a great harmony. Ooh, that guitar. Audra is such a strong voice. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Hell yeah, that harmony. Okay. Going above and beyond, man. Wow. Everyone, we're going on tour later this year in the US and in Europe, so go and get your tickets on Hellscene.com. If you haven't checked it out yet, please go and watch our music video for our new original song called The Mirror, featuring Violet Orlandi. Finally, if you'd like to support us further and get special perks, go and check out the Patreon. See you next time. I love Addie's personality on camera. So what do I think? My honest thoughts? Hallocene is such an incredible band and the fact that they collaborated with First to Eleven, which isn't their first collaboration together, mind you. Audra Miller and Addie Nicole just sound so good together with their vocals. And I had no idea they had a different drummer, Anastasia, holy crap, such a great job with the drums. They sounded so uh, metal. <laughs> I mean, I could go into different details on how they sound, but the only way to describe them for me is metal. And as a sound mixer and person who records music and records audio for movie sets, I can tell you that I just love the way the drums sounded. They sounded solid. There was a thickness to them that you just can't find anywhere else. The microphones that Anastasia was using, it really brought everything to life. And Brad, as always, such a great job with his guitar. I know he creates the bass tracks with the whatever music software he uses to generate that. What I've noticed in Scene, the reason I, I, and I'm sure you, are always so interested in their music videos isn't just for the video aspect of it, but their music music in general is so um, ear grabbing. It just catches your attention and it really pulls you in. There's something about the way Addie and Audra sing in this cover that's just like, okay, even if 
I were to just watch one frame, one single shot, I would still be that interested in listening to them perform the entire song. And that's not easy to do as a musician. I mean, some musicians, it takes more time than others. And especially if you're trying to get discovered as a YouTube musician, or maybe you have stuff on TikTok, you're always trying to think of ways to make your music videos better. Could it be the video quality aspect? Could it be the singing? Could it be the instrumental part? Like, what is it about my music videos that could progress and get better? I love Halocene's lighting. Um, I don't know who their gaffer is, and a gaffer is someone who sets up the lights for any film production set. I loved their gaffer, especially uh, looking at Audra singing. There was a nice hair light shining on her hair to just make her stand out from the background. And I've always been a fan of Halocene's multicolored lights in the background. When we see Addie singing to the camera, there's always like some sort of purple, blue, or red light in the background shining on the wall. That gives a nice atmosphere to the music video. And I don't know what type of camera they use, but the camera always makes Brad's guitar look so cool and amazing and just the way he uses it. And of course, props to the videographer, because I mean, without the videographer, for the guitar would just look like a guitar. But there's something about the stylistic choice and the way the videographer moves with their camera to make the guitar look even more cooler than real life. By the way, if you're a fan of Halocene and you live in Arizona, if you went to their Crescent Ballroom concert and got their HCU tour shirt, then let me know in the comments below because chances are I was in the exact same room with you when we were both rocking out to Halocene. To watch my reaction to Halocene's cover of Living on a Prayer by Bon Jovi, click or tap the video you see on screen right now. Or to watch the latest video, click or tap the video right below it. Links to my social media and other reactions will be provided in my video description down below, so be sure to check that out. And if you've enjoyed your time on this video, be sure to like and subscribe for more rock and roll reactions coming your way.